right, guys. So we got the uh, the 22 Bronco Raptor up here on the dyno. So this is our first vehicle, and we wanted our first vehicle to be all-wheel drive, uh, so we could test out the belt, um, that whole belt link system with this all-wheel drive dyno jet. So we thought the uh, the the Raptor here, the Bronco Raptor, would be the good first candidate. So we rolled this thing out. We got the straps tight. I got the data logger running. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do our first pull. This is gonna be our first pull, other than we just rolled this thing out at a couple miles an hour. I'm gonna bring this thing up into fifth gear, and uh, we're gonna do a pull on this and see how much power it makes. And then we might do a couple other things afterwards. We might run this in two-wheel drive and maybe compare the two between uh, four-wheel and two-wheel. And uh, we're not gonna do any tuning with this today. This is just kind of our shakedown of the dyno. Make sure this thing works right. We got everything mounted right. All the electronics are hooked up right. Uh, but looks it's looking so far uh, so far so good it's looking good so um all right i'm gonna get this thing into gear here so we got the traction control off and data log is running like i said so there's third gear so we're gonna Like I said, we're gonna do a fifth gear here. We're gonna load this down, get the turbos lit a little bit. All right. All right. So that's looking pretty good. Looks like we made 324 and 377 torque. So that's, that's pretty strong. I'd say these things are rated at 418 at the crankshaft. So being, again, we're running on this thing on these big mud tires. Um, friction on the dyno rollers is really what most of the loss from the engine to the rollers to the wheels. So um, you can see a little bit of a, a blip, a little roll off at the top there and then it comes back. That's probably either um, just the IETs getting warm or uh, you know, just it pulling some timing. Again, this, this vehicle's completely stock, so um, we just wanna get kind of a baseline on this thing because we're, be, we're gonna be doing modifications to these as well as Mustangs and lots of other stuff. So again, we figured the, uh, the all-wheel drive, an all-wheel drive vehicle be the perfect candidate for the first test this whole belt system out. And uh, it looks, it's looking like it's tracking straight so far, so. Hey Matt, um, what do you think about doing a rear wheel drive see how much more power we can that's make. what i was just thinking <laughs> so i was just saying i think we how should... much more power do you guys think we can make if we take off all-wheel drive i'm Get thinking comments. it'll make i'm thinking it'll make like another 20 or 30. i will make another 700. oh that okay <laughs> no i think i think 30. <laughs> you're going 20. i'm going i'll go i'll go 20. he's 20 i'm going 30. all right we'll see what we can do yeah so it pulls the timing from four to one <laughs> that's <laughs> so all it's running everything out yeah I think with tuning in some better fuel, because I think there's only 91 in here. If we put 93, we'd make Oh, 93 more. would make more for sure. 100%. Yeah. 93 so, would make another, I'll bet would make another 10 or 15 horsepower yeah. for sure. Right, but, so we'll rear wheel drive, we'll run it again and we'll overlay the graph. And we can see, see it. Yeah, so we can just leave that graph up. Um, cool. We'll pull the we'll pull the rear spine shaft out of the dyno. The so big we'll question just is are we can get to 400 foot pounds? Uh, right there. It's, that's going to be close. 23 more oh, yeah. wheel torque. 400. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, guys, we're gonna find out if Matt's right or I'm right. I'm guessing 30 wheel horsepower, 20 wheel horsepower for Matt, just by taking off all wheel drive, going to rear wheel drive. So we disconnected the dyno because it's all wheel drive. We can disconnect it and just run rear wheel drive. So we're gonna see who's right here. All right, guys. So we have two wheel drive now. So on the dyno here, there's these big spline shafts that basically connect the rollers to that belt link system. So all we gotta do is pull that big shaft out of the back and it completely disconnects the link and we can just run the rear wheels. Obviously we got the Bronco and two wheel drive. So we're gonna do the same thing, fifth gear. Um, everything's pretty much still warmed up how it was before. And uh, all right, I'm gonna load it down a little bit. Almost the same. What? Oh, oh, oh. 
I know. I think what we're dealing with here is this, it's getting hot and it's, you can see it's just cutting timing. It was tracking to make more. It was tracking to make more, it wanted to. We just got well, hot. Well, it also is getting warm too, so. Yeah, I, was saying, I think we're battling heat. Yeah, yep. Is that a drum? Yeah, the brake's on, it'll stop. I mean, you can see, you can see though, it was, it was tracking for more power, the power band. So the other thing you got to keep in mind. There's red new. Nope, the blue one's the new one. Yeah, blue one. Yeah, so it did make more. I mean, you can see like up top. Yeah, and it definitely yeah. spun the dyno faster, obviously. Yeah, oh, 100%. Yeah. But this dyno also compensates for that. Since it's a load cell, it does compensate for all-wheel drive. All-wheel, the two-wheel. At least it's consistent. I mean, we were a little hotter, obviously. But the other thing we got to keep in mind is that the... When running in all-wheel drive, there's more load on the drivetrain, so there's more load on the turbos, and so the motor will load a little harder. Yeah. So. Not, so what, we, the, not what either of us expected, but I think the, the state-of-the-art dyno, though, kind of yeah. knows that too, right? Yeah, I thought it'd make a little bit more. Obviously, there's less, less uh, parasitic loss, but. <laughs> 324. <laughs> I mean, at least the vehicle's consistent. <laughs> you can say that. Look at that. Yeah. Just crazy, like how much torque this thing just j jumps on. Yeah, you can see I jumped. Look at, the, look, look at that. Yeah, you can see I jumped on it a little later. Yeah. So that's why the that's why down low, below 3,000 RPM, that's not something. That's not relevant. Yeah, that's just me like rolling onto the throttle later versus the first run. So, and again, less load without all wheels spinning yeah. is going to load, is going to spool the turbos later than it would. Yeah. So it just came in a little later. And I think we're, just, this thing's just hot. It's hot. Yeah, we. Like the intercooler's hot. You know what we um, could do is just let, we obviously got, we're gonna put covers on now, we know it works and everything, yeah. and then we can uh, let her cool all the way down and do a, a glory run. <laughs> but we all thought, we weren't sure if it was gonna make over 300. These, these wheels and tires are like, oh, yeah. like 100 some pounds a piece. So normally, <laughs> these big tires like this, I'm surprised this being rated at 418, that, um, that it made this much, especially all wheel drive, but I mean, Ford might underrate it a little bit. Something yeah. like this is, you know, the 10 speeds are pretty good at parasitic okay. loss, but big tires like this, yeah, big lugs on the tires, there's usually a lot of friction on those rollers, so. These tires are really nice shape though. I'm sure that's not hurting. Oh yeah, either. they're great. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Maybe we can do a cut to what happened to these tires before. We, I was just getting too excited about the dyno and I had to go, uh, to destroy it. We're going to try to get the tires a little smoother, smoother. for the rollers. It, it, it is smoother. Yeah. We don't want to hurt our new rollers. We're just pumping them for the rollers. <laughs> That's but, all. It's just part of the deal. Awesome. We'll do one more roll after lunch and uh, see what we can do with a cool down. We're going to cheat this time. We're going to make it cold. <laughs> all right, guys, we're back after lunch. I still think that I, we're going to get 30 wheel. Are you still at 20? I'm still at 20. So we're gonna we're gonna turn the load cell up a little more, get the turbos to light a little better, because we were down on the two wheel drive run before, because the dyno wasn't loaded as hard as four wheel drive, we were down like almost a pound of boost. I think so that's it. I'm turning the load cell up, you, and you, you don't want to change it now because I think I think I might win. I think one pound of <laughs> I'm boost. Still going, might do. I'm still going twenty. <laughs> we'll see it. Let's go! <laughs> Damn it! I was closer. <laughs> Told you. 20. Look at that. 20. 20. 23 more horsepower. 23.5. So it's. No, 17. 24 yeah, yeah, to 40, yeah, yeah, 41. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was math. Close. I didn't. I didn't pass math class. Well. <laughs> but 341 and that—that's exactly what the car should be making from the factory if you factor in 20 percent. 
That puts you about 420. Yeah, so there we had, we, we had at peak power there at 56, what was it, 55, 5600. Um, we're like just over, we're just at like 15 pounds of boost. Right here. You could tell the load cell on, uh, it, it definitely. Yeah, so again, load. yeah, so to, to kind of simulate four wheel drive versus two wheel drive, we got to have the load cell on. And so the dyno compensates with the load cell on or off. If you have it on, obviously the pull takes longer, but the software is really good and it knows uh, whether or not it's on and it knows how to compensate for it. So it looks like a lot cleaner yeah. graphs too. With well, that load cell on the too. other thing too is that when we did the two wheel drive run the first time, the, the truck was a lot hotter. And now the temperatures were equalized between the two runs. Yep. So that is more representing two wheel drive to four wheel drive, that green run being two wheel drive for sure. So yeah, so that's, that's cool to see. Yeah. So it definitely makes a little more power. Yeah. But yeah. So now we got the dyno running, we got to figure out, we're going to get a hoist set up so we can get more cars on here. But of all the cars you've seen on our channel, just let us know which one you want to see on here next. Uh, we are doing a full build series on Matt's 500. So we're going to do every single step of the way from stock to, we're not gonna tell you where we're going with it, but to, to the max level. But make sure you uh, subscribe to our channel so you can see all these build videos. And if there's anything you guys wanna see, we got electric F-150s, we got anything Ford, pretty much any vehicle you'd want. Just let us know what you want, Dino, and we'll, we'll test it on here. But we are gonna do a, a leaderboard. Uh, so every vehicle we put on this Dino is gonna have a leaderboard on our MiddletonMotorsports.com uh, website. Um, we'll put an overlay of where, where to find that, and then we'll have uh, uh, links to all the videos to show you how much power. Like the eight wheel horsepower Zuma, it's no longer first place no, anymore. No, it's second, second place. Second place. <laughs> but now the Raptors first. But yeah, let us know. Uh, like, comment, share, do all the YouTube stuff because that makes us uh, makes us be able to do more videos like this. So we'll see you in the next episode.